Well, from the command center, JW Solar USA, unboxing new batteries here, VMAX tank. They're all in this box, so I just want to show you guys what's going on here. There's uh, brand new batteries um, adding up to the system. So please uh, subscribe, like, and share. I'm going to be, his box inside a box is really the safety and protection so that I can ruin these batteries. So I'll, I'll take them out so you guys can take a look right here from Minnesota, JW Solar USA. All right, these are the batteries of the box, the two boxes there, double protection, you know, take them out. These are the VMAX, the 12 volt high performance deep cycle batteries, the AGM batteries, and, uh, you can see right there, dry cell battery, non-spill, maintenance-free. So this uh, should be checked, which is uh, 155 amp hours. See them? Nice batteries. You can go through the... You can see how these batteries are built really strong. And you can see the capacity of this battery, the weight... You see the length is 35.5 width is uh 18.7 height is that so these batteries are 90 pounds each 90 pounds interesting really really heavy you know you gotta be careful with them so you can't hurt yourself all right folks this is the way, um, please subscribe, like, and share. I'm trying to wrap up this video, but I'm going to open the boxes, and you guys can see the actual batteries in there. Take care. Stay tuned. All right, let's open up these bad boys and see if these batteries are all safe. No cracks, no damage, anything. And uh, you see protection, double protection. And here are the terminals, you can see, and take this puppy out, you can see the terminals right there. These are the batteries, they are designed for solar. And these are the, the charging specs, you can use them to uh, regulate your charging. So 30 amp of current they need. And... Uh, the absorb it sits at uh, 14.7 and the float is 14.5 so recommended charger is like a 15 amp charger if you it needs this batteries needs uh, a smart charger a micro charger which is the same as a smart charger then this will do a good job because you can't just put all kind of random chargers into this kind of batteries. It's going to destroy them. That's what they recommend. If you go to their website, they have a chargers with a microprocessor chargers for this um, VMAX tanks. All right. This is, uh, I'm going to show you guys and let's open up the other one. Same thing, folks. Uh, to come. You can see another protection right there. Like I said, you guys want to see the charger, check on my VMAX, char um, VMAX tank uh, battery charger. It has a seven um, options of charging. You know, look at that. You can see this uh, that charger can even desulfate the batteries as well. So if the battery is, uh, it has a problem, it can go random check. And after that, after the charging, it's going to do a test. If it doesn't pass the test, it's going to do it again till the battery passes the test. Trying to correct that, um, whatever malfunction onto the batteries. Seems like um, they're all um, safe, no damage on them. And uh, I recommend these batteries. You guys take a look at my videos there. The charger is awesome charger. The VMAX tank, SLR 155s, 12 volt. These are the solar batteries. All right, well, this is the way, wrapping up this video, and uh, subscribe, like, and share.
Thanks. Well, these are the batteries, folks. Sorry you took them out. And they look really decent. No problem with them. And you see they have their tags. And it's going to tell you uh, the terminal torque is 110 pounds. So they even um, show you um, you have to use a, a torquing wrench. So, so you have to retorque it at 75%. So if you have a torque wrench, for those of you that even have a torque wrench, so you go to the store, you can find it. And um, they're not that cheap though. Torque wrenches are not that cheap, but you don't use it that much. It depends if you're a mechanic or you're a guy who like to fix stuff that use more of a talking wrench than hey I would say you need one of those I have one of them I can barely use it you know I don't have much things uh talking all the time but these are the batteries folks these are the batteries more batteries more power to the batteries we're adding more power to the batteries folks and uh find this video helpful please uh subscribe like and share nice company tough company builds up a nice 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 batteries here well for specs for most of you guys don't even know some people are having a qu have questions like uh i have one of uh my subscribers ask me um a while ago um I think we we're looking for batteries uh asking me what do i know about the uh the v max tanks because uh how the batteries are working are they holding up or whatever well these batteries are made is a chinese made they are chinese batteries but they just probably passed the test for the chinese batteries these are tough batteries you know this company has been around for quite a while now and uh they're making these batteries are awesome really really awesome some people are kind of scared to use them these are chinese batteries remember guys anything nowadays is made in china and uh batteries are batteries but these batteries can hold their reputation i would say i would recommend it big time check my videos like and share thanks for now bye all right, YouTube, um, now we're going to test the voltages of these batteries. I know they coming in, supposed to be pre-charged. So let's put this terminal up here, trying to put the, uh, the multimeter. So let's see. This battery is supposed to be reading. It says reading a 12.84 volt. Okay. Let's go to the second battery right here. So let's stick the one of them in there, one hand, and 12.86. So it's a 0 0.02 volt differential. See that? 12.86. Okay, let's bring this one back here on this other one and try it. 12.84. Like I said, it's 0 0.4 millivolt difference. So these batteries are charged. These batteries are charged. So I'm just going to put them, do a series here and connect um, this side, that side. To this side to make a 24 volt battery okay and charge it up now we already have the batteries tied up in series here i can put one of these one here and try to regulate this to volt you have to put it on the dc part of it the v with the one uh i fan and little three dots okay so let's touch this one here. It's giving us a 25.7 volt charge. 
so right now this battery is going to be on a charge before i'm going to put them with the rest of the batteries i want them to have the same voltage and the same um, amperage so they're all going to be filled up pretty good to the top and all all the way till they um, absorb float and from there they can be part of the the rest of the other batteries They're all the vmax tanks okay then stay tuned and this battery is going to be charged up and they're holding charge pretty well with the other ones that were there so folks it's just about three months apart so it's not bad so it's a total of 10 battery 12 batteries now all right stay tuned bye for now